Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Oh. As you can see, we got a new chair. Spins. Oh, not that way. Spins like that, hey. And uh, it's got wheels, so. Um, I will never sit still again. Uh, so unfortunately, I already broke the chair just doing that intro. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna leave that for now. But um, I want to get into what we're what we're doing today. Uh, so this is the hydrogen generator from the last video, but this whole front end is completely new. Uh, I don't even know if I still have the uh, the blue bubbler that was on here, the reservoir, but the uh, the seals or not the seals, the hose barbs, like these guys. They broke out of the side because I think I drilled the hole too small and so when I screwed it in the pressure made it, uh, the pressure of screwing it in made the plastic crack and so it started leaking and then essentially in the end it almost completely shattered on its own. So I had to come up with a new design for my bubblers and here is what I came up with. Um, here we just have a little uh, metal piece attached to the bottom with a nut brazed in and that lets us bolt this top piece in, right? Let's undo that. Come on. Here we go. And then we have this second piece. Uh, it just pushes down right here where the lids... So these lids had like a little attach thingy that goes here so you can flip it up and down without losing it. And uh, I decided to use that to fit this right on there. You see, just like so, and then the other side bolts into here, and what that does is it gives us down pressure on these uh, these cups so they don't move, right? So we have this whole thing nice and stable. That was, or that is the uh, the main the main part of how this whole thing is held together. It's just a wooden frame with these guys sitting in it. Let me get this out of here. As you can see, uh, I'll go into detail on these in a second, but this right here is where our propane line attaches, which we have our propane tank right here, hooked up. There's a little nozzle here, or a, not a nozzle, a little valve here that we open up to uh, open the flow. This also just sheet metal with um, little brackets, I guess, brazed onto it, and a nut brazed on the end again, and just this little screw that puts pressure on it to hold it in place. Um, that goes into this extension hose that I got from Home Depot. Let's see, it's kind of in the back here. And just comes over here, and it'll screw onto this end right there. So that way we can pump propane straight into our, uh, our bubbler, our secondary bubbler. So we have our reservoir here, so that if there's a flashback, only this one pops and not this one. My light is falling. Uh, where was I? Right. So it's essentially, it's just for safety. This light is still falling. Okay. Uh, give me one second. So we have our tubes coming from, or our hoses coming from the cell uh, up. And they just plug in the bottom there. I'll show you guys that in a minute when we put the whole thing together. And then on the other side we have the ones coming in from the top, which are our gas returns that go into here. Then from here, it travels up through the tube. And we have this. I need to double check what size these are. Uh, I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, but these fit perfectly. So this is a 3 three eighths inch outer diameter and a quarter inch inner diameter. And whatever these ones are, it, they fit perfectly. So I'm using them as a, a quick connect, you know, because these hose barbs, it's a pain in the ass to get uh, the tube off of the hose barb. So I'm just using it as a quick connect so that it's airtight, but I can still take it apart if I need to. Same with this end, which is the, uh, the torch end, right? It just quick connects right there. Kind of like that. You got to push it a little bit to get it in further, but you know, just for demonstration right now, that's good enough. So here is everything I used, basically. So these lids, uh, as you can see, have uh, three outlets. 
This one is the, the torch end, where the fuel, the mixed fuel comes out into the torch. This one is where the, uh, the gas from the HHO comes in. And this is the propane end. So to make this guy, I took a, a pencil torch, soldered it to the top of, essentially cut it here, and then cut this off and then drilled into it so it fits, soldered it on like this, and then attached a bullet casing to the bottom to create a, a sealed tube that pushes the, uh, pushes the gas through right down into the water so it bubbles up. Um, as you can see, they're all glued in like this. They're all soldered airtight. I checked them all so they don't leak. And the tubing just fits right on top of the casing. That's why I used it because it's a perfect fit. I used a plastic bonding epoxy, which is watertight and this thing made the sealing and just the bonding so much better. Like before on the old, the old version, it was a little, a little shaky, but this is solid. I accidentally dropped it once or twice already and it seems to be just fine. Uh, so that is the, the bubbler end. Now here's the reservoir. So we just drilled holes in the bottom, used these push to connect um, fittings and the same on the, uh, the lid here. And it's all just epoxied in. The hole is just big enough so that the last couple threads uh, are able to bite because this is a tapered thread so that it, it gets bigger. That's what the problem was on the old one. I made it so that the first couple threads would barely fit and then once, once I got to the end of the thread itself, it was way bigger than the hole that I drilled for it. And so the pressure was uh, too much for the, the bottle to handle. So it looks like uh, the system is filled now. I just need to hook up the propane again and plug it in, I think. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, that took a lot longer than expected. I had a couple of leak issues, so I got all that sorted out. Then I had some foam issues where the, uh, the outputs were foaming and it was leaking into the bubbler. I got everything figured out now and uh, let me show you. That's just the HHO. Pretty happy with that flow rate. I can turn it up a little bit still because I have that adjustment uh, adjustment knob. And I have the propane hooked up as well. That's the propane right there. So now I'm gonna hook up the torch and then we can play with a little bit of fire. All right, propane on. Okay. HHO on. There, that looks pretty good. So let me turn exposure down a bit. Look at that. Let's try a melting some brass. So this is one of those brass casings. Look at this. It's it's like cutting through the Alright, let's try some stainless. Oh, look at how quickly it heats it up. Oh, it's melting right through it. That might be too bright for the camera, I can't tell. How about some, some mild steel? Keep in mind, I'm still getting a feel for this. This is a trial and error, essentially. OK, 
Okay, now it's now it's getting somewhere there. It's glowing. Okay, so it looks like the flow rate just isn't high enough to uh, to uh, really pump some heat into this thing. But I mean, it's glowing. Oh, it just goes straight through it. That's crazy. Ooh. I have a piece of copper here. Okay. No way. No way, look at that. Oh, it totally melted it. That's awesome. I have a file, a metal file as well. So let me get that. It's really close to cutting through that piece. Come on. Let's uh let's try one more thing. So, we've got a piece of stainless sheet metal here. I'm just going to try brazing these two pieces together. I have some uh, silver nickel brazing rod, okay, and I want to see if this works. Well, it's doing a really good job of uh, getting that puddle to uh, stay liquid. I can't do this with my uh, normal propane or map gas torch. Like that looks like a decent bead right there. Let's just pop a bead right on the corner there. Let's let that cool off. So yeah, I think we can call this a uh, success. Pretty, pretty comfortably, like this thing is awesome. Here's our piece of file. I'll zoom in on that. That basically melted right through it, which is kind of crazy. I was experimenting on the other end here a little bit before I started recording and it melted that very well as well. You know how, like, we have progressed so far with this system. Wow. Look at that. That's just straight on there without any preparation. I want to try this with map gas instead because map gas burns a little bit hotter. So we might be able to get some, uh, some thicker metals going as well. Like this guy. Um, yeah. Wow. This thing was absolutely crazy. I'm amazed that it worked as well as it did. I'm, I'm really surprised. The propane really did the trick. Dude, man, this is so cool. Finally, like, look at, look at that. That's crazy. We, we did that. We built this whole complete thing from scratch. From scratch, stuff we got on Amazon. Wow. So guys, that's all I got for today. I really hope you enjoyed the testing of it as much as I did. Uh, there's nothing better than playing with fire and melting stuff. I, like, that thing on the, on the little brass casings, that thing melted through it like a lightsaber. That's crazy. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're getting close to that 100 mark, which blows my mind. I never thought I'd get this far, to be honest. But uh, we're almost there. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.